this is the first inning of a softball game, you know, pitcher through the pitch and there was a shallow uh, fly ball over my head into left center field. I was playing shortstop. All of a sudden felt what I thought was my heart accelerating out of control. Um, I didn't really understand what was happening. I knew something was terribly wrong. In the moment, I just thought if I could, you know, take some deep breaths and slow myself down, things would be fine. So I stopped where I was away from my position, put my hands on my knees and thought, like, just take a few deep breaths. And I started to feel myself go backwards a little bit. And the next thing I knew, I was looking up at a crowd of people standing over me and, you know, realizing that I had passed out in the middle of the field. And yeah, from there, we went to the hospital that night. Um, they didn't see anything too abnormal. They saw my heart was enlarged a little bit and they saw a little bit of an oddity in my EKG said basically that they didn't think it was that big of a deal. So I went home, um, and started trying to call cardiologists and we learned that my ejection fraction was down around 20%. And, uh, for those that don't know, that's basically a measure of your art, your heart's efficiency rating. And a normal person is from 50 to 55%. So I was operating at around half of that. From there, decided that we're going to, in, going to install a defibrillator in my chest, start some medications and see kind of what happens, see if I could get my heart to uh, a little bit stronger levels. Um, so about a year and a half after uh, the first incident where I would passed out, I had just a normal head cold. And from there... I couldn't breathe anymore once that had passed. Um, so kind of realized that the, the heart was suddenly not doing well anymore. So um, not only was all the progress that I've made gone, but I was operating at even a lower rate than I had been uh, previously. Um, but one of my doctors had kind of pulled me aside and said, like, listen, you know, don't be surprised if a transplant comes sooner rather than later. When I got the phone call, uh, it was a Friday night at 930. And they said, hey, uh, we have a heart and this is going to happen tomorrow. It was probably the best night of sleep I'd gotten through that entire experience, uh, you know, going into like knowing that I was getting the heart the next day. And then, you know, soon after, I guess the next day, we started to try to walk around the wing and, you know, started with one lap and then tried to go to two and three. And I got back to sports. I was playing uh, in my baseball leagues again the following spring several softball leagues with my friends and loving every second of that. Uh, well, let's today's great. 